What is going on guys, it's the Muck Designs here and I'm coming to you guys with a brand new logo tutorial in Adobe Illustrator. I'll be showing you guys how to make a professional logo design and yeah, hopefully, hopefully you guys learned a lot from this and can make any letter you guys want. It's not restricted to the letter I'm going to be making which will be an S and it's the most suggested um, letter I've been getting and um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this. So what you want to do first is when you go to File, New. Make sure the width and the height are the same. I suggest 1280 by 1280. Um, uh, make sure the units are on points. Advanced. Um, raster effects, high. Just make sure it looks kind of like this, guys. I'm going to name this Logos. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Alright. Just wait for this to load. Alright. And. Before you touch anything guys, go to the bottom left corner and the color palette, make sure you flip them, select the white, and select this down here and say none. So it's just going to be black. And then click the black again. Um, we're going to be making a logo out of a hexagon. So you want to go to the shape tool right here. You want to select the polygon tool and just click the screen. And sides, you're going to want to have six, a radius uh, around 100. Click OK. And you just guys just want to scale this up a bit. Not too big. Find the center. You just drag it around until you find the center of the page. Right there. What you want to do now is select it. Right click, transform, rotate. Rotate that 30 degrees. So it looks like this. And what you want to do is you want to click it, go to Windows, Stroke, and I already have that out here. So you're going to want to click it, and then you're going to wait, bump that up to, say, 12. And once you've done that, go down to the left corner and see where it says Stroke. I'm going to click that, click black, make it black. Make sure it's on the outer align stroke to outside and make it curved. And 12, 12 is a little low. Maybe we can go a little bit more. 16 looks good. What you want to do now is object, path, outline stroke. It's going to outline the stroke and you're going to go to window, pathfinder, down here, and just click this one right here, unite all. And one second. All right, unite all. And all right, you're going to duplicate that in the layer section by holding Alt and dragging up and duplicating the layer. And just uncheck the first layer and keep the second one so it doesn't get mixed up. Now, what you want to do is you're going to make an inside stroke. So make sure this layer is selected and just start making the stroke and select a line stroke, make sure it's in the middle one which is inside change the color of the stroke to white and make it fairly large fairly large let's say around 80 actually yep looks good and I'm gonna change that stroke color a little bit to black there we go I'm gonna go to object path outline stroke and I'm going to select the shape builder tool right here hold alt then click <coughs> it should delete it and as you can tell there's two there's a group here and you want to delete on one of these so now you only have one after that you're going to go to the um, the shape tool select the rectangle and make sure the rectangle is the same width as the um, the sides here. Just take your rectangle, find the center, wherever that may be, right here. And I'm just going to go make this a lot longer because we're going to stretch it from side to side. All right, find the center again, right there, and just rotate it.
right here. And just place it like that so it's even between the both sides. It's in the center and it's even. It probably will be even even though it's in the center. And after this, you're going to want to stroke this layer. So go ahead and window stroke. Should be out here already though. Just select that layer and bump up the weight. Make sure it's on out uh, the outside. Change the color. Oh, whoops. Flip it. Change the color and just bump that up. That looks good. Going to object path outline stroke. Once that's outlined, you're going to select this, hold shift, and select the outer part. And go to the shape builder tool, hold alt delete the parts on the outside these two delete this part right here delete this delete this and delete this so as you guys can tell it kinda looks like a an S now but there's still these white parts right here and those are easily fixed by just se selecting the shape builder tool and just clicking and dragging clicking Clicking a dragon. There we go. All right. So there's our S logo, but we're not quite done. What we want to do next is remember that first layer that we had, the the one we unchecked. You want to go ahead and check that this time, and highlight that. Make sure it's highlighted in the circle right here. You're going to want to stroke this one on the outside make sure the stroke color is black. I'm going to leave at a 20. Let's make it 20. You're going to go to object, path, outline stroke and you're going to combine it all. There we go. And just uncheck the first group. You don't need that for now. What we're going to do again is stroke it once again. I'm going to go ahead and make that. Uh, let's see. 40 looks good. 40, yep. And I'm going to do object path outline stroke once again. And I'm just going to go ahead and delete the middle part right there. So once you have that deleted, just click the the first group again so it's all uh, all visible and you guys should have a logo that resembles this if not please rewatch it ask me a question um, I'll answer you guys uh, questions in the comments below um, yeah I mean you guys can make any shape you guys want any letter it's really simple just follow the instructions I did in this video and yeah I hope you guys I hope to see some really cool logos you guys made um, just go ahead and show me in the comments below I don't mind um, yeah Thanks guys and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please like, comment, subscribe, check out my YouTube channel and yep. Yeah. Thanks guys.